Good afternoon. Welcome back to Passionate World Talk Radio Network, a wholly owned subsidiary of Global Media Network, LLC. Educate, enlighten, entertain. And today, in this episode of Lest We Forget Historical, we are going to delve a little bit better or closer at our immigration, the authorized and the unauthorized immigration channels in the United States. Basically, I thought you could use some facts and figures. Should brighten up your day if nothing else. You should know, number one, that immigrants influence many facets of life in our nation, from demographics to the economy. They also shape our country. They face unusual challenges and not just in the States, but all over the world, they impact the global crisis because of the immigration trends from one country to another. Excuse me. You need to understand the number of immigrants in the U.S. and the percentage of jobs they hold can provide a view of their impact on the labor force. So how many immigrants are in the United States? about 47.8 million immigrants since 2023. This represents approximately 14.3% of the population or about one in seven residents in the United States. Immigrants are defined as foreign born residents. This includes people who became US citizens and are authorized to come to the US for work or other undocumented residents. The number of foreign born residents in the US grew from 41.3 million in 2013 to 47.8 million in 2023. And this occurred alongside changes in the native born population due to births, deaths, and people moving. When you analyze it, it gives you a better view of these demographics. The United States, with the foreign born share of the population, was 14.3% in 2023, up from 13.1% in 2013. So that gives you a better idea. The variations in immigrant populations illustrate a changing population landscape in both local areas and the nation as a whole. The largest immigration populations are concentrated in the cities, metro areas in California, Texas, Florida, and parts of the Northeast generally have a higher share of foreign born residents. California, of course, has the highest foreign born share of state population in 2023. So, that takes care of that. Then you have to ask yourself, what is the unemployment rate now in the United States? Since September of 2024, it's 4.1%. And that's a 0.3 percentage point increase from the year before. The unemployment rate is the percentage of people in the labor force who are actively looking for work but not currently employed. It's a common way to measure the health of the job market economy. How much do households in the United States spend on rent? About 1.3K per month or 31.7% of their income. And this was in 2022. And this is a measured by comparing medium rent and medium monthly income for renting households. How many subsidized housing units are available in the United States? About 5.1 million in 2023, of which 13% were unoccupied. So federal subsidized renting housing began in the 1937s U.S. Housing Act, which created the United States Housing Authority and provided financial assistance to state and local governments 
for housing low-income people. Since then, the government has provided housing assistance to low-income renters through programs overseen by the U.S. Department of Hus Housing and Urban Development. Initials HUD. How long do people wait to get into the subsidized housing in our country? About 40.9 million households in the U.S. were cost burden. That's 32.5% of all households. These households spend at least 30% of their total income on rent or mortgage payments and utilities. The Department of Housing and Urban Development considers households that spend more than 30% of their income on housing to be cost burdened. Cost burdened households may have less money for other necessities such as food, health care, or savings, which can be applied to everybody who's retired. Well, not everybody, but live in a fixed income. How many households in the U.S. spend too much money on housing? About 40.9 million households. What percent of jobs in the U.S. are held by immigrants? About 17.4% of jobs. So you should know that they really aren't taking over our jobs as stated by the Republican Party. I wanted to share these facts with you today in case you get a lopsided picture from the presidential candidates and their running mates about what's really going on with immigration. You have to understand that the politicians of today uses fear to achieve the results. And they may make up their facts as they go along or slightly mm, exaggerate them to make you afraid because that's what they want you to feel is fear. It's what they call emotional manipulation and political candidates are masters at this. So before you get excited or start cursing or blaming the immigrants for everything that's happening to the U.S. economy, Check it out at the usafacts.org and see what they have to say first. Because everything you hear on the radio or TV is not necessarily the truth. And in fact, may be exaggerated to make you feel less protected by your government. Thank you very much for listening to Lest We Forget Historical with your host, Lillian Caldwell. You can listen to the show all over again over at our website, https colon forward slash forward slash passionworldtalkradio.com. Scroll down to State of Current Affairs, click on the link, then click on the Google link, and it'll take you right into youtube.com. And you can see this and all our other videos. And of course, you can also hear just the audio on youtube.com forward slash Passion the World Radio. You can also hear it on linkedin.com forward slash Lillian Caldwell. And you can also hear it on TikTok, on X, on Instagram, Tumblr, you name it. It's there. We occupy the first 20 pages of Google. This program is brought to you by PWTRN. Take our podcast training course. Find it at https colon forward slash forward slash education dot passionate world talk radio dot com forward slash masterclass. We're running a special two people for the price of one. And by myflex.com, Ruby AI. R-U-B-I dot A-I, artificial intelligence. It's a no-brainer. It's innovated. It will save you time. Check it out. H-T-T-P colon forward slash forward slash A-I with Lillian, L-I-L-L-I-A-N dot com. And also by Vicki Esther Chang, who will help you get your memories 
out to your peers, relatives, family, and friends, and share what you know with the rest of the world because they don't know everything. Remember, it's always the winner who writes history. Thank you all very much for listening. And remember, have a great weekend.